TV. And you are Robin. And you are Artist. Oh, sad but true. And we are here to show you our special episode on Ghost in the Shell. Absolutely. By popular demand. Absolutely. I have this great figure of Motoko Kusanagi from the nice people at Left Hand to show you. And I have uh, one, this was, uh, this is not a recent release, but it was one from the flock of uh, Tachikoma releases that we saw on about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. We still have some in stock, so I thought I would bring him out for the special episode. Awesome. And we will see how cool he is. Sounds good. Okay, I'm going to be taking a look at this great 1-6 scale figure of Motoko Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Oh, a tachikoma. <laughs> this is brought to us by Left Hand. It's sculpted by Yu Makimura. So we'll have a look at the box. So this box has some really nice graphics on it. Mostly purple and black. Very slick and cyber, cyberific and futuristic looking, just like the series <laughs> itself. Yeah, I just made up a new word. Pretty cool, huh? Wow. Yeah. So that's what the box looks like. I'm going to just tip it over real quick to look at the top. So that's like 1-6 scale? Yep, she's 1-6 scale. And here's the major out of her packaging. This is a nice 1-6 scale figure, pretty assertively sized here. And as you can see, this is really nicely sculpted, uh, really nicely done by Yu Makimura. And uh, one thing that uh, I can tell by looking at her out of the package is uh, he, they did a really nice job when they finished this figure on the paint job. Her uh, jacket really does look like leather. I thought it was leather. I reached over before yeah. we started the camera. Yeah. Like, poke, poke. Wait a minute, that's not leather. I'm going to just turn her fabric. around a little bit here. Uh -oh. Nice. Tachikoma thinks uh -oh. that's pretty neat. Hey, Woo stop that Tachikoma. Good Lord. Yeah, she's she's got some booty action going on there. One nice thing about the major is she's a very, very attractive lady. In addition to being a cyborg and a really kick butt cop, she can throw you through a wall if she feels like it. She's got quite a physique here, and uh, these guys definitely took full advantage of it. She looks really, really wonderful. And the neat thing about this figure is it's, it's right, it, to me, it looks right on the anime design from the show uh, Standalone Complex. And, and it does also stay faithful to Masamune Shiro's uh, original designs, too. So I think she's really, this is a nice piece, beautifully shaded, nicely sculpted, nice big size. Comes with a really great base with, the, with the, these cool graphics on them. I think this is a neat addition to anybody's collection. And this is such a great show, too. It's been around for such a long time. Manga, the show, the movie, everybody, you know, lots of, this, this is responsible for making a lot of modern anime fans what they are today. And here she is, ready for you. And you thought the Major had such a nice butt. Well, what do you see this Tachikoma? This is the Tachikoma from Wave. Woo! Tachi, 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 Tachikoma. Nice butt, huh? Yeah, there very you go. nice butt. Uh, this is the Tachikoma from Wave, and it's, it's from its WHAM line. Mm -hmm. um, this uh, was part of a wave of Tachikoma releases in mm -hmm. the uh, mid to late 2000s. Uh -huh. um, this is long gone. This also yeah. belongs to uh, Ryan, and so we have to, you, to be nice to him. And, <laughs> and this is a very realistic Tachikoma, and it was nicely posable and all. But Ryan let us borrow it to show it off, to show you here's a realistic one. But then there were the uh, much more cuter Nendoroid ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And the Nendoroid one is what we are going to liberate from its package right now. Oh, boy. So we can see it compared to the more realistic one. Cool. So let's open it up and take a look. Here he is, released from the box. It is Tachi Koman's Yellow, or you may also know him as Tachi Yellow of the AI Sentai Tachi Komans. Oh, okay. Woo! <laughs> and this is the uh, Tachi Koma that had, after you've been decommissioned, mm -hmm. he was, went to work for Matsuke Construction. Oh. You can see here a little that explains on the, the side that scheme. says yeah. safety first. Uh huh. And, and that Naiji. explains the uh, the black and yellow stripes right, on his legs yeah, there, too. Right, yeah, because he was in use in a construction company. And this is the an Nendoroid, and he has quite the ample bootay there. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Major. And hey. he's got 
an extra pair of um, manipulators. There's a closed pair and an open pair. We've got one of each on here right now. He also has two of these. It's the bottle of the um, natural oil, the organic oil, mm -hmm. which uh, helps them become a little more sentient. Oh, uh-oh. Which uh, <laughs> may or may not be a good people thing. Were not happy. Some people were not happy about that. Of course, those of us watching it were quite delighted. Of but. course. And so here we are. Here's a comparison of realistic Tachikoma and the Nendoroid. Cute Tachikoma. Very, very cute. They had also done a uh, silver release and, of mm -hmm. course, the regular the blue, one, blue yeah. one, too. And uh, last I saw, we still do have the yellow one and mm -hmm. the silver one oh, great. in stock. Because, you know, everyone wanted the mm -hmm. original oh, yeah, blue one. Oh, yeah, sure. But, you know, these are so cute. Poor guy, he's been in the package for five years. He's yeah, a little bit just sick. wants to get out and play. But there he goes. He can, he's getting into it now. <laughs> that is very awesome. <laughs> Bend him to your whim, and he'll say, heck with that, I'm going to do what I want. Probably not dissimilar to a real Tachikoma. That's right. So there he is. That is the Tachikoma's yellow Nendoroid. It's time for questions. Questions. Woo! Questions. We have questions. Well, this is a comment here right now. Okay. And it is. This is from what? Gundam X 20A. Gundam mm -hmm. X. Gundam X. Yeah. That was with that Garo Duran kid in it. Yeah. You would call him Stinky the Sugar Boy? <laughs> he was very excitable. He was. He was very hyper. Very excited. Anyway, I wonder if this guy, Gundam tw X 28, he's a secret fan of uh, mm -hmm. Garo Duran, I guess. But mm -hmm. here we go. Get Scott. Get Scott to look at the SH figure arts of Sentai and Kamen Riders. That'd be pretty that interesting. Would be a good Scott get. on the loose yeah. with one of those. That would be very interesting. Yeah, we'll see if Scott's got the time to, to do it. We'll see if he can. Yeah. That's a good suggestion. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Next up, Riser188 asks, do you guys ever go to Wonderfest? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Although I wonder by you guys, does he mean you and I or does he mean Hobby Link? Well, Hobby Link has a booth there. Mm -hmm. You know, we do have a booth there. You and I don't get to staff yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, the big manly folks get to staff it, but we get to go yeah. and scamper around and look at the figures. Yeah. And well, I really like the section where they have uh, the vendors are there with the used. Yeah, items like for the sale. garage like the sale giant, type stuff. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a giant, giant flea market. It's like the Nania Goods garage sale flea market. Anime flea market. Man, I got the top of your head will come off. Yeah, that's the best. It's so amazing. So yeah, twice a year, man, Wonder mm -hmm. Festival. It's the best. One of the best parts about being here in Japan. Absolutely. So, uh, I wonder how many of you folks have been to Wonder Festival. Hey, if yeah. you're planning a trip to Japan, and if you're yeah. coming like a, around Christmas time or, yeah. or in the summer, try to try to get a Wonder Fest under your belt because they're a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, Wonder Festivals like in February and in, uh, in, in August. August. January. August. You're thinking of Comic Con. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. Okay, yeah, but yeah, yeah. they do. Hold Comic Con will make your head explode too. Yes, but yeah, February and August. Um, 63 Banjo writes and says, to the duo of Toy Tengoku, can, can you please do a review of the new Play Arts Kai Metal Gear Solid series, Cyborg Ninja? Well, you know, we actually were able to get a few more of those recently. We were? They'd come in and oh, that's they were good. gone. Yeah. But yeah, we were able to get a few more. At this filming, which will not be when you see this, but they yeah. are currently in stock. Okay. I don't know how much longer that's going to last. I'll see if I can get one because I would like to look at that. that when I wrote cool that up, I was package? really impressed with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, they are in stock as we of will, today. We will do our darndest to yeah. review that guy for you. They got a party going on out there oh, or man. something. Man. Okay. Vagabond Zero has a question. He says, I got a question. What is the most prized figure in each of your collections? Uh, for me, it, I don't have it here with me, but it is the cold cast figure of Vash the Stampede from Trigun Maximum oh, by Kyoto. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. That is nice. Because yeah. the edge of his coat is kind of blowing out behind him, and there's like all these gunshots through the edge of his, of his coat. It's, it's just amazing. I've never actually taken it out of the box because I'm terrified of handling it. Because mm -hmm. it's made of cold cast and it might break, but uh, it's amazing and it's easily the most prized thing I own, wow. figure-wise at least. How about you? Well, mine is probably is not anywhere near as good as that, but I keep this on my desk here at uh, Hobby Link. And this is the GRO Cyborg 009. Came out a couple years ago. 
from Hoppy Net. Mm -hmm. They did two versions of this. There was a color version, full mm -hmm. color version, and the mm -hmm. silver version. Mm -hmm. I was too late to get the full mm -hmm. color version, yeah. and it was order stopped before I even knew about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was able to get the silver version. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big Cyborg 009 fan, mm -hmm. and I was just so impressed with this. It was just really neat. And the amazing thing is it made it through the earthquake. It was on my desk oh, wow. during the earthquake. And oh, when man. we came back in there, it was all falling over and stuff was falling on top. And you would think this would snap. This is uh -huh. resin. Wow. It survived. Great. That's 009 for you. Yep. Yeah. You can survive so a lot of stuff. Is, this is my favorite figure in my collection. Wow. Okay, well, thanks a lot for your questions. Yeah, we appreciate it. We have it. a few more. We'll save some for next time. And mm -hmm. if you've got some more questions, definitely, please. Please do. Leave a comment on our YouTube videos. Or on Hobby Link Japan. On Hob on Hobby, Hobby Link, Link TV. TV. Yeah. TV yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that is going to do it for so. this time. Absolutely. Uh, next time, we may, we may be able to have Scott in here. Yeah doing the great big combination put together thing of Go Busters when we have uh, Buster Ace. Yeah. Join up with the Gorilla Bot and the Rabbit Bot. And we are aiming for that for next yeah, time. We sure hope if so. If the planets are in alignment. Yeah. Yeah. So look forward to that. Okay. Next time. And uh, we will see you then. Okay. Toy, Toy Tengoku. Tengoku.